last year because every season's different and other competitors are different too. Never a guaranteed win. So I'm always thinking like, I have to be better because somebody out there is. Put that way, it is no wonder that Michaela Schifrin is great at her craft. And because she is, she almost always makes the headlines, most of which highlight her successes. However, the most recent news about her is anything but. In fact, what happened to her very recently was quite alarming and worrisome, to be honest. But before we dig deeper into that, let's talk about who Michaela Schifrin is. For those who do not know her, she is an American alpine skier who is one of the sport's dominating athletes. This is evidenced by the fact that she is a five-time World Cup overall champion in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2022, and 2023. As of last year, she surpassed Swedish skier Ingemar Stenmark's record of 86 World Cup victories. So far in her career, Schifrin has won three career Olympic medals, two of which are gold and one silver. Michaela's interest in the sport began at a very young age, since both of her parents, a nurse and an anesthesiologist, were avid skiers. In fact, her mother, Eileen Schifrin, later served as her coach. Her father, Jeff Schifrin, on the other hand, used to compete for the ski team at Dartmouth College. And so, under her parents' guidance, Michaela Schifrin skied from an early age on the slopes around Vail, Colorado, where she grew up. When she turned eight, she began racing and then later attended a private boarding school in East Burke, Vermont that was noted for developing elite alpine skiers. By age 15, the young American had qualified for the NORAM Cup Circuit, a racing series held in the United States and Canada. Just so you know, the series is regarded as a stepping stone for young skiers aiming to compete on the World Cup Circuit, the top level of alpine skiing. She notably won four NORAM Cup races between December 2010 and January 2011. It goes without saying that Michaela began turning heads almost instantly when she finished top 15 in her first two NORAM Cup races. But when she won a Super Combined in British Columbia shortly after, she caught more eyes and gained more fans, especially after she landed a World Cup podium during her rookie season. Mind you, she was just 16 at the time. From there, she just continued her way up, so to speak. In her sophomore year, she shocked the world with a World Championship Slalom Gold Medal at the World Cup Slalom title. In 2014, she earned five more World Cup wins, giant slalom podiums, an Olympic gold medal, and a second straight slalom title. The following year, she successfully defended her World Championship slalom title on the home turf under immense pressure at Vail Beaver Creek and then snagged her third straight slalom title. Then, during the 2016 season, she sustained a knee injury during a warm-up run in R Sweden and was sidelined. But she didn't let that stop her for too long as she came back and went on to win all of the remaining slalom races she competed in on the World Cup Tour. While her career in the sport has been going remarkably well so far, it was her 2019 season that was won for the books as she shattered records every weekend she hit the mountain. Unsurprisingly, her mind-blowing achievements caught the interest of major mainstream publications, including The Washington Post to ESPN, USA Today, and beyond, who then deemed Schifrin the world's most dominant athlete, placing her amongst the upper echelon of athletes like Serena Williams and LeBron James. When her father died in February 2020, Schifrin took time off from her sport, although she did eventually return to competition late that year. In September 2020, the Schifrin family launched the Jeff Schifrin Athlete Resilience Fund in honor of her dad in response to the COVID-19 crisis and the setbacks it created for sports. They raised $1.5 million to allow camps to run as planned and additionally fundraised for direct-to-athlete grants. The following year, she continued her dominance in the sport. At the 2021 World Championships, Michaela turned in one of her most remarkable performances when she claimed four medals, one gold combined, one silver, giant slalom, and two bronzes, super G and slalom. Her victory in combined brought her total number of World Championship gold medals to six, which is notably an American record. Her career tally of 11 World Championship medals also established an American record. Heading into the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing, China, Schifrin was widely viewed as a favorite to win multiple medals. However, she came away from those Olympics empty-handed, although she competed in six events. 
After the game, she acknowledged her disappointment, but vowed, I have won in my career and I'm going to win again. That she did. After enduring a disappointing Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games, Michaela Schifrand returned to form to rewrite history. In the 2022-2023 season, the American star broke Lindsey Vonn's Women's World Cup wins record of 82 before eclipsing Ingemar Stenmark's overall mark of 86, which had stood for 34 years. Her tally of 53 World Cup slalom race triumphs is the most by a skier in a single discipline, 13 clear of Stenmark. That said, she has every chance of meeting Stenmark's prediction that she will record at least 100 World Cup race victories. So far, Michaela has 17 global medals, 6 consecutive World Championships winning gold, 91 World Cup wins, 144 World Cup podiums, 15 global, 5 overall crystal globes and 10 discipline titles, 55 World Cup slalom wins, 21 World Cup giant slalom wins, 6 World Cup slalom wins at Killington, 7 World Cup slalom wins at Levi, a record at that venue, 7 World Cup wins at Semmering. As you may have noticed, most of these records are actually remarkable historical wins. For example, Michaela had 17 victories, which is notable for the FIS World Cup record for the most wins in one season. Needless to say, she is the only person, man or woman, to have won a race in each of the World Cup's six disciplines, downhill, super G, slalom, giant slalom, combined and parallel. With that much impact on the sport, it is no wonder that her every move is watched, especially her competitions. This is why what recently happened in Italy unsurprisingly became the headline of countless news articles. For those of you who haven't come across said news articles, the American skiing star Michaela Schifrin was airlifted to a hospital after the 28-year-old suffered one of the scariest crashes of her career in the World Cup downhill race in Cortina d'Ampezzo in Italy. Yes, you heard that right, she suffered a nasty crash at a World Cup event a few days ago. Thus, the skiing champ is taking some time off the slopes. It all happened when Schifrin was speeding down the Olympic Del Tofain course in Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy, set to be featured in the upcoming 2026 Winter Olympics. In St. Moritz. And this is, oh man, no! When Schifrin goes down! Oh. She lost control while trying to land a jump and crashed into the safety nets on the side of the course. The alarming incident prompted an immediate response, with Schifrin remaining down for approximately 10 minutes as medics attended to her. In the aftermath, Schifrin was airlifted to a local hospital where she underwent evaluation for a potential left leg injury. Michaela Schifrin was taken by ambulance to the clinic in Cortina and is being evaluated for a left leg injury. Initial analysis shows the ACL and PCL seem intact. Further details to come, Schifrin's team said in a statement. A few hours later, Michaela tweeted, Thank you all for your support. Then, in an Instagram post, she shared a photo of her resting and another with the team. In the post, she shared that she is just taking it day by day. Let's all hope for more great news about her condition. Speaking of good conditions, Let's find out if this athlete is in great shape for the upcoming Paris Olympics.